now I would like to show you how to set your lead times. Now, SoStock is unique in that it actually has very specifically laid out lead times. And so it's in the vendor section, you'll go to lead times, and you'll see there will be in your account a default lead time. So you can go in and edit the default lead time, and you can also build out your own lead times. So to build out your own lead time, you can choose new and select lead time, right? So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So let's say we want to do a lead time of China to USA by air. And that's the name of our lead time, right? So what we do is we can say, okay, my lead time has a production, an uh, in-production 30 days. And then we can start to add additional steps. And then it's going to go by air freight. And the air freight is going to be seven days. And then once it's done with air freight, it's going to actually go to um, ground freight, right? And ground freight is going to be another five days. Then it's going to wind up at my warehouse for two days, right? And select which warehouse you want it to go to. Then it's going to go ground again for three days. And it's finally going to end up at FBA. And we'll say five days for check-in. And so there you go. You've built in a whole lead time. And you can assign this to various vendors. So you can assign to vendors. And once you assign them to a vendor, it will be the default. So if you don't want this to be the default setting for any of your vendors, my recommendation is you don't assign any vendors. Uh, for an air freight, most likely the air freight will be unassigned as a default. So you'll just build this out, save it, and you'll see that it's added up the number of days and it has zero assigned, but it will be available for us to use whenever we need it. And that's how you set lead times. The, the value of lead times is that it allows you to follow along on your order tracker and these cards will then move based on your lead time. So rather than giving us just a blanket, you know, 60 day lead time, we actually have a tracker. So it'll be 30 days in production and then the card will automatically move to en route where it'll either be ocean, ground, or air. And then it will move to say the third party warehouse then it'll move back to ground, and then it'll move to FBA check-in. We even have a section for customs hold. So if your product is, for example, uh, subject to customs hold, you can build a customs hold into your lead time, right? And it may be that you build a customs hold into your lead time. For example, if you do ocean, ocean is more likely uh, to be when you will have a customs hold. So China to USA. You would build it out the same exact way, right? We'll just say for the ease of showing you how. You might at that time put a customs hold and we would say you can set it to zero days, but then it will be available in case you ever have to move it into your, uh, into the customs hold. It will be available as an option, right? And then ground freight and so on then you say it ends up at your warehouse. And there you go. All right, so that's how you build out your lead time. You can build as many lead times as you need, and you will always have access to setting these uh, for your various shipments.